Here we're going to look at some of the nerve structures within the neck as well as the thorax. We're going to start here with essentially the structures that would be located within the carotid sheath. And that's going to be the inter or I'm sorry, the common carotid artery and the vagosympathetic trunk. The vagosympathetic trunk travels along the cervical region within the carotid sheath back to the cranial most aspect of the thorax. The vagosympathetic trunk will be carrying parasympathetic innervation from the vagus nerve as well as sympathetic innervation via the sympathetic trunk. Within the cranial aspect of the thorax, we see this large kind of nub right here, this large balloon, which is going to be the middle cervical ganglion. It's at the middle cervical ganglion that the vagus nerve will separate and continue to run caudally over the trachea and the ansa subclavia, which is this wrapping right here, this loop, ansa stands for loop, this loop right here that's wrapping around the subclavian artery is leading you up to the cervicothoracic ganglion, which you can see lying right here, really dorsally within the thorax, but long, lying right along that longus colli muscle. The sympathetic trunk will then continue along the dorsal aspect of the thorax, right along the ventral ribs. The vagus nerve will continue back along the trachea, at which point the vagus nerve will split into a dorsal and ventral vagal branch. The right and left dorsal vagal branches will then come together pretty far caudally right here along the esophagus on the dorsal aspect and that will create the dorsal vagal trunk. And similarly, the ventral branches will come together ventrally along the esophagus, forming the ventral vagal trunk. Another nerve that we need to be aware of in this region is going to be this nerve right here that's traveling essentially from the area of the brachial plexus all the way down here to the diaphragm. And that is going to be the phrenic nerve, carrying motor and sensory innervation to the diaphragm. One other structure that we need to be aware of is if we come back down here to our vagus nerve, we will see another nerve wrapping around the subclavian artery and continuing cranially along the trachea. We see it right here. Again, this is a branch of the vagus nerve running back cranially along the trachea. That is going to be the recurrent laryngeal nerve.